Here's a little tip I picked up somewhere. I'm sorry, I don't remember where. If um, if someone knows or comes to me, I'll put it in the comments. But um, you know, you can buy these little fret slotting files um, from various guitar tool manufacturers and sellers, and they're expensive. And if you're doing a lot of instruments with a lot of different gauges, they get very expensive very quickly. Here's uh, what I did to help offset that cost. Is this is just a feeler gauge like you would use for checking spark plugs, and you'll see these are all like a, a pretty high quality tool steel, and they are measured. Um, this one goes up to 0.035 and the end here 032 and then the smallest one is 0 0.0015 like way Way smaller than I'm ever going to use but so what I've done is you know here's like you know eights and nines for some skinnier strings um, I simply Put little teeth in a bunch of these different feeler gauges I'll show you how in a second and turn them into little saws um, So I can use them like right now. I am doing this 13.5 string so I'm using the 14 and I just saw my, my slot just like that. You can pick these up at auto parts stores for like five to ten dollars and there's a gazillion potential saws in here and the other thing I can do is I can mix and match so I might take uh, if I take 0.014 and 0.015 and put them together now I have a 0.029 here, I'll make one real quick. I need an 026. So I'll go through my fan deck here and I find, oh, 026 is already made. So <laughs> I'll make an 025. Simply clamp it into this little vise here. I'm just using a triangular file. Just saw some teeth into it. thick one so it's going to take a little more work than some of the thinner ones. That should be good enough. Now I'll show you. Just take a, you know, take a little scrap of MDF and I'll saw a little slot in there. There we go. like 50 files in here for $10.